So before I start, I got to do one thing. Yes! So that is for you guys to learn more about when I do my second Ignite speech. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about, uh, my name is Donnie, I am the owner of the coffee company. And the topic is coffee for humanity. These are business lessons, or life lessons learned from a business. Is it on? Okay. So when you see the title slide, I want you to shout it out. So I learned early on two passions in life, coffee and people. So one of the things I loved about coffee is that coffee it was time for me to just stop and just be. And then uh, it also gave me a chance to make a difference in people's lives through my interaction with them. So one thing about passion is that it, I got a lot of enjoyment out of watching people enjoy coffee. And a lot of people think passion has to be something big, but it's not. Passion is anything that makes your heart sing. So what are you passionate about? And how does it what do that do for others? Inspire. In 2010, I went to see Andre Bocelli perform live in New York City. While I was there, I was so moved by his performance that I was literally brought to tears. Moved by the sound of his voice, his small persona on stage, I thought to myself, this is what the effect I want to have with my coffee. I want to make a difference in the world. I want to make coffee for humanity. So what impact do you want to have on the world? And how would that make you feel to do so? faith. There have been times where I thought about leaving, walking away from my company because, you know, I got stressed out and pushed beyond my limit. But I always heard an internal voice and every moment saying, carry on, things will work out. Things aren't always going to turn out the way you want them to and things aren't always going to go as planned. But I found anything is that faith is knowing that you are guided and that everything happens for a reason. So I want you to ask yourself this. When is a time where you trusted faith? What was the outcome? Growth. We all have to grow. When I first started roasting coffee, I didn't know a thing, and my coffee reflected that. So it wasn't until after spending several years and several hundred pounds of coffee that I would sell my first bag of coffee. And I, what I found out was I got the distinction after every roast that I learned something new. And it was through that experience that I actually learned how to make better coffee. So think of a time where you, were, you gave up something because it didn't come easy. And what would have happened if you just spent a little bit more time? Commit. Commit to your result, but be flexible in your approach. My end goal used to be a cafe. I wanted to have a cafe, uh, but I started a beverage called Cold Roman and ignored it in the beginning. And so what I realized uh, later on was what I thought was a distraction was actually a, uh, something that actually helped me to my goal to get even faster. So think of it. When have you been flexible in your approach? And what was the result you achieved? Was it easier, less stressful, or was it harder? Most of the time it was easier. Decide. One of the hardest things for me was to decide. I had aspirations of living in Europe, and then I had aspirations of starting my own business. The thing was, if I started my own business, I wouldn't be able to take the extended trips that I want to. And if I left for Europe, then I would be sacrificing personal growth as well as professional growth. So I stayed here to do my business, because I knew that that would give me more fulfillment. So then the thing about deciding is you have to take major action. So I want you to ask yourself this. What is a decision that you have to make? And if you don't decide on the decision, how is it going to affect you emotionally and physically in the long term? Because a lot of us are short-term thinkers. And so and you, these are the pauses. So courage. Uh, one of the scariest things for me was to actually step out and put my coffee into the public. And the reason being is that coffee, it wasn't just a bag of coffee. It was actually an extension of me. And if people thought the coffee no good, I thought that I was no good. And so what I've realized is that fear, when you know, or when you're able to listen to fear, and you know what fear looks like, you're able to look it into the eyes. So I want you to think of, if you were to forget about fear and accomplish something that you were fearful of, what kind of power would that give you? And what would you be able to do? Certainty, another thing that affected me is I was always looking for certainty before I stepped out. So much so that I was looking at other products, they were bigger than me. They might be, they have to be better. And I was always actually feeling more uncertain. How ironic is that? The more certainty I looked for, the less I felt. So isn't that true in your own life? How many times have you tried to feel certainty and ended up feeling less certain? Because the thing is, is once you question something, you start to feel uncertain. Love. Uh, you know, obviously everyone here, the reason why we're here tonight is not because we want to talk about ourselves, is because we want to give you the gift of ourselves. It's our experiences, is our, what our, we have to give. 
So I hope that you guys still remember this, that there's no small parts in life, only small actors, and that every one of us has something to give. So there's a few questions here. I just want you to ask yourself these questions in your mind and just reflect on them. Thank you very much.